And on today's Spotlight, we bring you Lovette Ebede, a major player in the Nigerian filmmaking community in America that is now known as Nollywood America. She tells us how their industry is gradually gaining more and more attention. Do take a look. As the Nigerian film industry, popularly called Nollywood, continues to grow to become the dominant force in Africa, its influences spread beyond the Atlantic as a pseudo industry is created in other countries, including Europe and America. One of the major players in the American version of the Nigerian filming community, which is now popularly called Nollywood America, is Loveth Ebede. Nollywood America is more like um, people who, are, who have relocated to America. The Nollywood based, you know, actress and act actors who were based in Nigeria that have, you know, find their way to America. So why there? Why in America? Is, is acting is something you just don't want to give up. So, and you know, that's, the, we all form an organization and uh, we started, you know, doing some jobs out there instead of having to always come back here to make movies. So we are based there and we're making movies and, you know, we're doing a lot of entertainment. Her introduction to acting was through another American-based actress, Bessie Ikem, who was generally referred to as the Patience Zokwa of Nollywood, America. <laughs> more like um, a version of Mama G in America. So she is our Mama G in America. One day uh, she called me and was asking me, there is this director in town that if, if I still want to pursue my acting you know, career, I said, oh yes, yes, I would love to. So I went there and um, saw what they were doing. They were actually you know, working on a project that time and uh, they did my audition, boom. I got it, and that was how I got back to the game again. Men are terrible. Men are terrible. I don't care where he sleeps. In the bathroom, the hallway, wherever. He is not going to sleep in that guest room, okay. period. The daughter okay, can okay. see. From there, she grew into making her own movies, though Nollywood movies and big budget studio movies still dominate the movie scene in America. Ebede believes Nollywood America is gradually amassing interest even outside the African community. Met a lot of Americans who actually, you know, fix their face on our Nollywood movies. They will watch us very well. I mean, stories that are well told, you know, African settings, they get to see the other part of the world. Yeah, so not just only Africans, we have Americans, Caucasian, name it. They watch Nollywood, you know, movies, not just only Africans. And also we still have a lot of other African countries, apart from Nigeria, like Sierra Leone. They also have their organization, you know, everybody is forming their own wood. We have Ghana wood, Nollywood, Cameroon wood, you know, just like that. So yeah, everybody, um, we're still all together. We'll still, you know, do a lot of things together. She is kicking off a filming project in 2017 with two movies which she's shooting in Nigeria. This, she believes, would help bridge Nollywood America to the parent Nollywood industry in Nigeria. Her new movies, Frozen Flames, about a greedy woman who puts love of money over everything else, and Wildfire, about a woman who went through thick and thin to save her family from blackmailers, star prominent faces in Nollywood. I came back because um, some of the some of the uh, stories being told in a foreign land is not the same as you know the real story from the root or the grassroots. So I I'm that kind of you know I'm one of those actresses that believe in grassroots. I'm you know I'm, for me I'm tired of you know having to watch 
you know, English stories, American stories. We've seen that several times. I love grassroots, I love epic, you know, the things we don't get to see all the time. A market woman, you know, village woman, somebody carrying firewood and all of that. We don't get to see that and we don't, we don't have those kind of resources in America to be able to shoot those kind of movies, you know, be, because of the um, environment, you know, you could be arrested if they see you with a firewood, on, you know, and all of that. So. I wasn't really getting, you know, fulfilled in the industry in terms of having to do that, you know, um, grassroots movies that I love. So I decided to start coming back here to, you know, shoot those kind of movies. As an independent filmmaker in America, she had to support herself with a second job and she opted to join the American National Umbrella Police System, Homeland Security. I can't help you anymore. Oh, yeah. Besides, you don't even listen to me anyway. Oh yeah. Apart from just you know, my life in the entertainment business, uh, it's it's a two word. You know, when I'm there, I'm there. You know, this word is out. And when I'm back, you know, it's just it's just like that. So I'm able to shuffle. America is like that. You know, it's it's it's, it's stressful, and you have to do everything possible to make it. A movie alone you know, will not sustain me. So I still need a, a job to be able to keep my life going and to take care of my family. So yeah, until I start making a lot of money on my movies, eh, I will still have to, you know, be going back and forth on my career as a police and as an actor. Dressing up and I tried to talk with him. He won't even give me any reception. It is bad. It's okay. Everything is fine. My dear, calm down. Everything is all right. I have a great idea for you. Please tell me. You know I'm very, very ready for anything right now. Hey. Yes. You're ready? Yes. You sure? Yes. Don't you have access to his bank account? Investment? All these places, all this... Oh, they keep their money. Do you have access to it? Kela! Uh huh? You need to open your eyes, oh. Shine your eyes. 